Hi everybody, today we're going to do a lesson on the area of rectangles. And we need to first think about what is area in math. What does area mean in math or in geometry? And area is not how wide something is, or how tall something is, or the distance around, which is called the perimeter. Area is not those things. What area is, is the amount of surface something takes up. So this is the area of this chocolate bar. Now we measure area in squares. So it might be helpful to have grid paper like this when you're starting out uh, with the area of rectangles. Now there's a trick for calculating area that I'll get to in a moment. But when you're starting out, the most simple way to do it is to count each square inside your rectangle. So go through and count each of them up. But that takes some time and we want to do it uh, faster. So there's another way you can do it. Measure how long this is, how wide is this? And that's actually eight and then measure the adjacent side, the side connected to it. This is five. And then multiply those together. So think about that for a second, and the answer is going to be 40, and the unit here is squares. And I'll explain that further in a minute. But uh, if you really want to check and count, if you count every square here, it's going to be 40 squares. But the multiplication is a shortcut to figure out the area. So here we have a bunch of different rectangles. And look at these rectangles and see if you can use the shortcut to figure out the area of these different rectangles. And I'll give you some hints to help you out here, the numbers, so you don't have to count. So there's how the length of each side, and this should help you figure out the area of all these. So what's the area of this, and this, and this, and this. And by the way, squares, this is a square, but squares are also rectangles, so it works for squares too. So 7 times 4 is going to give us 28. And again, the unit squares. And 4 times 4 will give us 16. 2 times 10, 7 times 5, hopefully you know those, would give us 20 squares here and 35 squares. And if you really want to check your work, you can go through and count each of these to see if that answer is right. But this shortcut, as long as you have a rectangle, will work every time. Now one last thing about your unit here. Um, usually you're going to have a square centimeter or a square inch. And on my iPad mini screen, which I'm using, this is what these look like, but they're probably going to be bigger if you have a bigger screen um, to watch this video on. But basically, every side here is a centimeter, so this is a square centimeter. Every side here is one inch, so this is a square inch. And I could write it like this, one square centimeter, one square inch. Or the other way to write it is one centimeter squared with a little two up at the top. One inch squared like that. And you can get bigger too, so these are meter sticks. So this is one square meter, and you can see the size of a math book there. So one square meter or one meter squared. And for really big spaces, like a city or something, you can use kilometers squared or square kilometers or miles squared, square miles to see how big really large areas are. Okay, so that's the lesson on area. And the rest of this is for Everyday Math 3rd grade, Home Link 3.8. So if you don't have that, good luck with all of your area problems in the future. But if you want some homework help, this is for you.
So number one, uh, Mr. Lee tiled his kitchen floor. This is what the tiled floor looks like. You can see here his tiles. How many tiles did he use? Now you could go through and count every single tile, but let's use the method we just learned. This top row is 10 and the side looks to be 8. So to figure out how many tiles, 8 times 10 is your answer. Or you can just count them if you don't know how to do 8 times 10. Hopefully you do. Now, each tile costs $2. How much did all the tiles cost? So what you're going to do is take this number times 2. Or this number plus itself. And that will give you the answer for this. So now Mrs. Lee planted tomato plants. She planted five rows with six plants in each row. So six plants in each row, that would be six rows, and then you need five rows of those, and that will tell you how many plants she has. And you can check the answer real quick with our new method of finding the area. And finally, some addition and subtraction practice. Don't forget to write them on the back of the page. Uh, for practice, don't forget to do the ballpark estimate and go ahead and use any method you wish to solve them. Just uh, practice though, I'll do this one with um, counting up subtraction. Okay, I'm going to estimate to the hundreds. And I've got to do this quick because the class is coming back from choir. Hold on. Okay. Starting at 264, I'm not going to go to 270. I'm going straight to 300 because I can do that. Boom. Next, go to 500. Boom. Next, go to 571. Boom. Boom. Circle them. Lena's here. Lena's here. Lena's here. Lena's here. All right. Take the numbers you added and add them up. And there's your answer. And you can see it's close to our estimate. And we're all set. <clears throat> that was a little rushed at the end, but hopefully you get it. And thank you.